Hi everybody. Welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Marvelous Monday. I'm Leslie Watkins and today I have a very extravagant little card that I want to share with you. So some of you may know that there is a resident peacock here at Dandelion Cottage. His name is Frankincense. And every year the peacocks lose their feathers. And I go out there and I collect them all. And of course there are the big eye feathers that look like this. So these are the ones that come from the peacock's train or tail, but um, it's really not the tail, it's called a train. The tail is underneath there. But there's also some of these really special tiny feathers. So I save these, I call them my specials. So here, here's one of them. Okay, so it's a, it's a like a little miniature feather and um, <clears throat> and there's not so many of these, so I always ex am excited when I find them. This month's Watercolor Card Club, <clears throat> excuse me, features peacock feathers. Hold on, I gotta get my coffee. <clears throat> and <laughs> I'm so sorry, I'm losing my voice right now. Um, but the uh, Watercolor Card Club this month features peacock, peacock feathers. And so I'll show you a quick sneak preview. So here is a painting of a peacock feather that I did for the Watercolor Card Club this month. And if you're interested in learning how to paint a peacock feather, this is the month for you to join because not only will you be getting an instructional video on how to paint a peacock feather, but you'll also be getting an actual peacock feather from me as a gift. And today is the last day to subscribe for this month's Watercolor Card Club. Now, I'm also working on a, on a special workshop coming up that features the Season of Chic stamp set and the Chic dies. And it's called the Texture Chic Journal Making Workshop. And I'm also going to be collaborating with my friend Lisa on designing a journal with front and back soft cover and inside there's going to be seven spreads and both Lisa and I are going to design a journal and the people that participate in the workshop will not only have ideas for decorating the seven spreads in their journal, but they're going to get 14 designs because uh, Lisa and I are both going to be showing you different ways of doing that. So it's an extra special workshop and um, and there is a link right here on my Facebook page. If you look at the, an earlier post, you'll be able to uh, learn more about the Texture Chic Journal Workshop coming right up. So today what I, what I wanted to do was to kind of combine both the Texture Chic Suite and a little peacock feather because the texture chic suite is so extravagant. It's, it has all of these beautiful, let me just show you. It has all of these beautiful DSP or designer series papers that have this wonderful gold foiling on one side and then coordinating designs on the other side. And it also comes with this wonderful Distress Gold specialty paper, which I'm going to be using today. So I just have fallen in love with this suite. I, I really 
find it very inspirational. I love the colors. Look at these colors. Let me see that one again. Look at that. So beautiful. And, um, and so I thought that this could be a good match. So that's what I want to play with today. To get ready, I've already cut and folded a card base. So this is a four and a quarter by five and a half standard size card base. I've got a number of tags that I've cut out using the tailor-made tag dies, which I'll show you. They look like this. This is actually two sets. I have two sets on the, on the card here. Um, you get a total of 10 tags to one set. And I'm also using the designer tags because I really like this one that has this kind of a, a filigree effect and I thought that might be fun to use today. Now I'm just want to check my settings here, make sure we're up and running and that looks good. Here we go. And hi, Sandra. Hi, Ginger. Kelly, nice to see you all here today. This is, this is one I didn't mention. So I also have, where is it? I know it's right here someplace. I've got a box filled with all the different things that I'm using. Here it is. So this is called the Mini Pocket Envelope Die Set. And you get a lot of different dies in here. So this is the one that makes the little pocket envelope. And then you've got a, uh, a couple of dies that will make a paper bow for you, some labels, some reinforcements, a little tag. This one will cut either a slit or a hole in your tag and a little leaf design. So this is very cute. This is called the mini pocket envelope and I use that to cut this out. So my idea is to have a pocket on the cover of the card with a little tag and then the peacock feather embellishing it. So I'm going to have to cut down this piece of the distressed gold paper. So I'm going to make this just a little bit smaller than the card base. So I'm going to cut this at 5 and 3 eighths. And four and an eighth and see see how that looks. All right, so there's my card base. And this is my little pocket. And I have to choose Actually, I could put a couple of different tags in the pocket. This is one of the, the dies that comes with the textured sweet, textured chic sweet uh, bundle. And I really love this die. It looks like, to me, it looks like burlap or some sort of uh, distressed rough text, textile. So I'm just going to poke out these little things. If you were somebody that liked to make shaker cards, these little gold cutouts would probably work really nicely in there. Okay, so there we go. Now I want to make my tags a little bit sturdier. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to layer them up. And to do that, I'm just using a little bit of glue. I'm 
like so. And I'm going to put these back to back. Just like so. So there's one tag ready to go. Got another one here. Pick that up. And then finally, I've got this one. This one I think I want to do a little bit differently. So for this one, I'm going to get a um, piece of cardstock. So let's see. Let me go grab one. This is the evening evergreen color. I'm going to get out my cut and emboss machine to cut out this tag. I'm going to need a, a hole in the tag. So going back to the um, going back to the die set, you'll notice that there's this little piece that will actually punch out the hole for your tag. So I'm going to have to go back now because I forgot to do it when I was cutting these tags out. and do it separately. And I have a piece of <clears throat> sticky paper here and I'm just going to use that to hold that right where I want it. Get that lined up and put my tape okay, 
Okay, now I have a hole in that layer, and then I'm going to do just the same thing with the white layer. That lined up right where you want it. There we go. You could also use your handheld hole punch if you have one of those handy, but I wanted to get this sort of smaller hole that will line up with my next layer. So there we go. Okay, I think we're ready to decorate. Okay, so the reason I wanted this darker color is because I'm going to be layering this beautiful filigree over the top, and I wanted that those cutouts to be more pronounced, so I really like the way that looks. And I have a little piece of the linen thread here that I'm going to use to just loop those together. like so. There we go. I think that's so pretty. So you've got room on the back to, to write a message. Okay, so there are my three tags. And then I'm going to put my little pocket together. So I'm just going to put the glue around these two flaps. Hold that for just a moment. Let that set up. A good burnish. And now I'm going to figure out how this is going to go. Now I have these sort of fluffy feathers down near the, the bottom of the quill. I'm just going to pull those off. They just sort of zip right off of there. So there's my little miniature peacock feather and I may just snip off the end of that. And for this, I think I will use a glue dot to adhere that down. So let's get this started here. I love this paper. Have I said that about a hundred times already? I really do. Okay. 
Okay, so there's my card base. Little feather. And I think I will put it at an angle. So you could add several tags if you chose to. I'm not sure how many I want in here just yet, but I know I definitely want that one. I'll just try this out for a minute. And then I have my glue dot. I'm going to put a couple on here. Start there. I'm going to scrunch one up and add it on the bottom. Actually, instead of scrunching, I think what I'll do is I'll just trim it. So I have a nice little narrow piece, not so much. Okay. Now, for embellishments, I've got the brushed metallic adhesive back dots, and I'm just going to add a couple here and there. Lost my glue dot. Let's get that on there. There you go. So that is my card. And there's enough room down at the bottom to add a little sentiment, but I'm not sure yet what I want to use this for, but I quite like that to celebrate my beautiful peacock frankincense using the texture chic sweet and the um, that beautiful distressed gold paper. So I hope that gave you some ideas today. And if you are a member of the Watercolor Card Club, you're going to be getting a peacock feather from me very soon. So you may want to use this idea to uh, decorate a card with your peacock feather. And I would love to see what you do. So make sure that uh, when, you, when you do get your card made, that you photograph it and add it to our private Facebook group because um, I, we all want to see what you're doing with the peacock feathers. They're, they're so magical. So that's the show for today. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you still have the rest of the 
the day to subscribe to the Watercolor Card Club if you'd like to get your peacock feather. And stay tuned for the upcoming Textured Cheek Journal Workshop. That registration is open as well. And it's going to be a really, really fun workshop. So um, check that out in the information below. Have a wonderful week. Stay creative. Stay well. And stay happy. And I will see you next time.